Hi, my name is Lyra Scout, and this is a brief Wikivids video about Fibonacci. Fibonacci, circa 1175 to 1250, was an Italian mathematician from the Republic of Pisa, considered to be the most talented Western mathematician of the Middle Ages. The name he is commonly called, Fibonacci, was invented in 1838 by the French historian Guillaume Libri, and is short for Phileas Bonacci, son of the Bonacci. He is also known as Leonardo Bonacci, Leonardo of Pisa, Leonardo Pisano Bigelow, and Leonardo Fibonacci. Fibonacci popularized the Hindu-Arabic numeral system in the Western world, primarily through his composition in 1202 of Libra Basi, Book of Calculation. He also introduced Europe to the sequence of Fibonacci numbers, which he used as an example in Libra Basi. Fibonacci was born around 1175 to Guglielmo, a wealthy Italian merchant and, by some accounts, the consul for Pisa. He traveled extensively around the Mediterranean coast, meeting with many merchants and learning about their systems of doing arithmetic. He soon realized the many advantages of the Hindu-Arabic system. In 1202, he completed the Libra Basi, Book of Abacus or Book of Calculation, which popularized Hindu-Arabic numerals in Europe. In the Libra Basi, 1202, Fibonacci introduced the so-called modus indorum, method of the Indians, today known as Hindu-Arabic numerals. The book advocated numeration with the digits 0 to 9 and place value. The book showed the practical use and value of the new Arabic numeral system by applying the numerals to commercial bookkeeping, converting weights and measures, calculation of interest, money changing, and other applications. The book was well received throughout educated Europe and had a profound impact on European thought. In the 1228 edition, the first section introduced the Arabic numeral system and compared the system with other systems, such as Roman numerals, and provided methods to convert the other numeral systems into Arabic numerals. By replacing the Roman numeral system and its ancient Egyptian multiplication method, and by introducing the Arabic numeral system and the use of an abacus for calculations, business calculations could be made faster and more easily, which led to the rapid growth of banking and accounting in Europe. The second section further explained the uses of Arabic numerals in business, for example in the conversion of different currencies and the calculation of profit and interest, which were important to the growing banking industry. The book also discussed irrational numbers and prime numbers, and posed and solved a problem involving the growth of a population of rabbits based on idealized assumptions. The solution, generation by generation, was a sequence of numbers that would later be known as the Fibonacci sequence. In the Fibonacci sequence of numbers, each number is the sum of the previous two numbers. Although Fibonacci's Libra Basi contains the earliest known description of the sequence outside of India, the sequence had been noted by Indian mathematicians as early as the 6th century. Fibonacci eventually became a guest of Emperor Frederick II, who enjoyed mathematics and science. In 1240, the Republic of Pisa honored Fibonacci by granting him a salary and a decree that recognized him for the services that he had given to the city as an advisor on matters of accounting and instruction to citizens. The date of Fibonacci's death is not known, but it has been estimated to be between 1240 and 1250, most likely in Pisa. Well my friends, I hope you've enjoyed this brief video about Fibonacci. Until next time, this has been Lyra Scout for Wikivids.